This video is sponsored by Storyblocks. Hey, what's up guys? Today in this video, I'm gonna show you some 3D tracking, some rotoscoping, and some green screen keying, all combined to make a cool HUD graphic. So stick around, it's gonna be cool. Hey, what's up guys? My name's Tyler Kidd. I am a YouTuber, a freelance video editor, and a musician on the side for fun. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. I try to reply to all the comments that I get, so yeah. This video is actually a request from one of my subscribers, Hey Ho Studios and he wanted some tips on 3D tracking and stuff. So I hope this video helps you out, bud. And again, if any of you guys have any videos that you think I should do, please leave me a comment. So in today's video, we're gonna be using some footage from our sponsor, Storyblocks. So Storyblocks is a really cool website. You can get video, audio, and images or just one of each if you want, but it's a really cool website if you need assets for your videos. In today's video, I grabbed a cool 3D tracking green screen phone thing, and we're gonna put some HUD graphics on it that we also got from Storyblocks, making this video super easy to make. I've noticed that two of you have already signed up through Storyblocks with my link, and that's really helped me out, and that's really cool, and I really appreciate it. So if you consider signing up for Storyblocks, please come back to my channel. I'm just the little guy, so come back, use my link, I would really appreciate it. Alright, so that's enough talk from me, let's jump into Adobe and figure out what we're doing. Alright guys, so we're in After Effects and we're going to right click on our clip and select Track Camera. And we're going to let that run because it's going to take a while to track the camera. And we're going to drop our other clip below that clip just for now. And we're going to rotoscope the phone out of the video and you want to make sure to extend the range all the way. I have another tutorial on this if you need more help with that. And then we're going to remove the green screen and I also have another tutorial on that as well if you need help removing the green screen. But we're just getting it to where it's just the shell of the phone case so we have a blank frame to work with. And then we're gonna put in our graphic and rotate it, size it, position it, where it's just about where the phone is so the tracker doesn't have to do too much work. And then we're going to mask out the background clip to the phone so that way it matches with the phone. And we're going to go into our track camera settings and select five different points on this phone to make sure we have a nice level and then do create solid and camera and then once we have that we're going to scale our solid up so that way it matches the size of the phone and then we're going to pre-compose that layer and make sure all the attributes are in that layer and then we're going to open up that pre-composition and paste our phone in there and resize it to match the phone and get it all perfect and also make sure our rotoscoped phone layer is on top of that and then we're going to add another layer that is scaled up to make it look cool I also had to go in and fix the anchor point so that the scaled version would match and scale perfectly on top of the other layer. And then we're just going to easy ease these keyframes so that way it has a cool effect and it's not just chilling there, it's you know kind of scaling up a little bit. Thank you guys for watching my tutorial. I really appreciate it. I hope you had some fun. I hope you learned some stuff. And yeah, if you liked this video, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and leave me a comment because I like hearing from you guys. So yeah, thank you guys again. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye.